why is it that Ahmadi Muslims, when it comes to the character of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi because if it was avoiding his character and we didn't want to discuss it, we won't be here. I won't be, I won't be coming on the stream and trying to discuss it. So we can defend that till the day of judgment. But the reason why we are emphasizing on Aqaid first is the fact that if you, because when you discuss Isa Alayhi death or you discuss finality of prophethood and you prove that to be true in accordance to your understanding, then you don't need to discuss personality. Aqaid always comes before personality. If you prove Aqaid wrong, you don't need to discuss personality. So if you have proven that Isa Alayhi is alive, then whether it's Adnan or Hashim or Brother Ahmad or anyone claiming to be the promised Messiah, that claim would automatically be false. Okay. Now their own scholars, and, they, and we've, we've put up these videos, they say that when Manzoor Chanyoti used to teach us, he used to tell us, Mirza ke kirdar pe baat karni hai. Vahan se nahi hilna. Because if we move from there, that is our death. We can't move from there. So I'm inviting, so that, that's my case, I'm inviting Brother Adnan li right now live. Okay. Let's discuss the issue, because if I was avoiding the character of the Prophet Sallallahu I would never come on. We, we, you know, I, I, I would never, never even discuss it. But we're here now. So let's discuss the, 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 the crux of the matter, as they say, which is the, uh, which is the Aqaid. First, the death of the Prophet uh, death of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, which is the Usul. The second is Khatm al Because you began, Makana Muhammadun Aba Ahadim Rijalikum Walati Rasulullah wa Khataman Nabiin. You began with this verse. And then you said, La Nabiya Ba'di three times. And you began with this hadith. So I'm here to discuss that. Bismillah. Let, let's start with that. And then we can discuss the character of the, of, of, of the Promised Messiah. Why? Because I was mentioning when a Christian comes to you and he proposes this, this uh, idea that we, I'm only going to discuss the character of Rasulullah from a hadith. And he, and he mentions Rasulullah said, if any one of you boasts about your father's lineage, let him go and suck his private part. This is from hadith of Rasulullah. And Adnan in his last uh, last, um, you know, interaction with him, he accepted. And we have so much love for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that I mean, to give this, give, give this example. Uh, you know, I gave example from the Quran of Zanim, from what Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu said, um, so Allah, he was standing next to Rasulullah. Rasulullah did not stop him. Yet I did not mention Rasulullah. Why not? Because of the love of Rasulullah. Okay. But you mentioned yourself that even Rasulullah used these words. So, so when you coming and putting an allegation on a man and you're saying he's not even a civil human being, are you saying Abu Bakr is not a civil, civil human being? Are you saying uh, Rasulullah is not a civil human being? So you have to have a criterion which fits all prophets of God. You understand what I'm trying to say? You can't present a separate criterion for one person and separate criterion for another person. This is the point that I'm trying to make. So I'm inviting you to please accept. Let's discuss the death of Isa wasalam, first. Then we go to Khatmun Khatm and Nabuwat, and then we okay. go and discuss Bismillah, the, the, the character of the Promise uh, Prophet. Over to you. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for that, uh, Ahmed. Okay. Ahmed is insisting that we discuss the death. Are you okay, Adnan? I think can you see me, guys? Yeah, we can, can you see hear me. You. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. The internet. Is it your internet or my internet? No, we can hear you. For some reason, when Ahmed comes, the internet goes slow. <laughs> he brings so much... So much bandwidth. <laughs> this is the Jalal and Jamal for Rasulullah. This is the love we have for Rasulullah. This is, this is it. We are, we are tired of the lies, brother. Wallahi, we're tired of the lies. We've had enough of them. Okay. Adnan, you're muted. You need to... Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can, can hear you. Hear you? Ahead, yeah. Okay, I don't know what happens with Ahmed when he comes. He brings so much energy with him that the Holy Spirit comes with him and it slows down the <laughs> <laughs> it slows down the internet. You so, know, you know uh, it's beautiful what you said. Okay, you, it's your time, so I don't want to just... Go ahead. I, 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 I tell this to Christians. I mean, this is just a joke. Like so, when some glitch happens during a debate, um, mm -hmm. I say that the, the Holy Spirit is at work. So <laughs> that was a side joke. Okay, so Ahmed is still insisting that we discuss yeah. Aqaid. You know why? Because he knows the Ahmadi religion will die when we discuss the character, the characteristics, and the behavior, and the language of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. Because he will know that the whole discussion will collapse. The Qadianis, the Ahmadis know this. They know this very well. This is kryptonite. This is death. 
repentance, spiritually speaking, through the Ahmadi religion. Okay, so that's why Ahmad is very well trained by his jamaat to completely avoid Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani and his uh, inconsistencies, his lies, blatant black and white lies, as we will see, and his foul language and other things. Believe me, I have encyclopedias here in front of me right now. I have volumes upon volumes that talk about, uh, in light of his own writings, by the way, these are scans, these are scans and quotes from the very books. Okay, I have a I have an encyclopedia of scans. Okay, scans upon scans here, right? So the Ahmadi Jamaat they know that. Look at these, look at these. All our original scans from the books of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. All of them highlighted everything. The originals are there, right? So the Ahmadis know that once we get into that quagmire, it is the end of story. That's why they have to throw these spanners in the works to distract everyone from the real issue. To Sunnis, khatam e nabuat or uh, ikhtatam un nubuwa has never been a question of discussion. Never in our entire history of Islam, not... And the internet is playing up again. A no. finality of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. I hope you can hear me. Hashim, can you hear me? Yeah, you just got cut off a bit there, but uh, we can hear you, you can most hear of the guys. time. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, in the comment section, please, can you? Can you, you, you get, yeah, you you get disconnected sometimes, but uh, most of the time we heard you. Yeah, go ahead, please. Yeah. I, I really hope that this doesn't keep happening. One second, let me. Uh, okay, that's fine. So, so. Never in the history of Islam, the finality of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was questioned. This debate does not exist in our mm. literature, in our world. It doesn't exist. This is something the Qadianis, the Ahmadis are bringing in to the discussion. They're trying to claim territory where they, they have no right to claim territory, right? That's why we, we don't want to entertain it. Number two, the death of Isa salam, or his life, okay, is not a point of discussion in the literature of Islam. You know why? Because again, 1,400 years of scholarship is unanimous. When I say unanimous, I'm making this claim that Isa alayhi salam did not die. Okay, he was alive, raised above to Allah, and he will return and he, as Isa <coughs> ibn Maryam, the biological son of Maryam, he will return as that. Okay, so that's why, again, uh, I'm not going to waste any more time on explaining this because I've already done that. We're not going to have those conversations for the reasons already explained. The Qadianis, the Ahmadis can go on a victory parade on Twitter and all other pages and forums. Oh, these guys are running. We're not running away. We are here today with all the people watching around the world for this reason. So the, let's talk about the man. And if you, 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 know, you keep saying that the Christians come to you to discuss the prophet yeah. of Islam, yeah. they do. Yeah. And we yes. entertain them. I've had, personally, I've had debates in places like Australia. I had a debate with a man called Bernie Towers, a Christian polemicist. A debate was Muhammad a true prophet. He raised so many questions about his character and responded to them. You can go and watch mm -hmm. the debate. You can watch the debate today. So we don't run from the debates on the character of the Messenger of Allah. Because we have so much to defend him uh, yes. that we don't need to run. But you guys, yes. in particular, I really have to run away from the personality of Mirza Ghulam So let's talk about all the vulgar abuse he had okay. thrown uh, the Muslims okay. and non-Muslims. Yeah. Okay. Can I come in now? Yeah. Can I speak please with your permission? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Just quickly two points uh, you made with regards to finality of Prophet. Right. We, don't, we don't believe that we have any difference whatsoever with the Sunnis with regards to finality of the Prophet. Um, Ahmed, I'm going to come back from a different laptop, okay? Uh, because the you sound quality doesn't speak. Do you want me to speak? Yeah, wait, wait, to... wait for one minute. Okay. I'm going to come in, come back in from, from a different device. Hashim, can you let me in? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, the, the, look, the um, the Muslims, the non-Ahmadis who are in the back chat, can you guys please leave now and come back when we invite you? The reason is because the Muslim, the Ahmadis are unable to join if you guys are in the back chat. Yes. We only got limited spaces in the back chat. So please do us a favor. Leave now and come back when we invite you, inshallah. How are you doing, Ahmedar, by the way? You all right? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah brother Hashim. I'm yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, good. Just wanted to, I think there was a question asked last week. And, uh, you know, because the conversation was so heated, right? 
you, you go back and you ponder over certain things. And 